Hello everyone, this is Buddy Bison, and I would like to announce that we are going to be playing Disgaea PC, which is a port of the first Disgaea game, uh, I think it's like Hour of Darkness, uh, but I believe this is a port of either the PSP version, which is Afternoon of Darkness, or the DS version, which is just called Disgaea DS. Um, so this is the first one in the series, uh, I know we played Disgaea 5, uh, first. So I figured, hey, let's go back to the beginning. Let's go back to the basics. Let's uh, show you where it all started from, essentially. Because we met some of the characters in Disgaea, uh, in Disgaea 5. So I figured, hey, let's do this here. But I also wanted to make it a little bit different. So I'm going, well, so forewarning, uh, two things. One, I am going to be playing Disgaea 2 as well. Uh, after this, maybe not immediately after, but it is a game that I will be playing. Uh, and for both of these games, Disgaea and Disgaea 2, both on PC, I will be doing the secondary storyline first. So for Disgaea PC, which we're going to be doing now, uh, we are going to do the Etna mode, and when we do Disgaea 2, we're going to do Axel mode, both of these before the main storyline. The reason why I'm doing this, uh, originally there were two reasons, and now there's just one reason to me being stubborn. So, um, originally, uh, I planned to do Etna mode so I could unlock a character, uh, earlier in the regular mode, because it requires you to finish the game once, and Etna mode counts as a finish. But, in this port, Disguise PC, you can get the character from the beginning regardless, so that took it away. The second reason is I have never played, I've never done Etna, Etna mode. I have never done it because I just never got around to it when I was playing this guy at DS. So I figured what better way to start off this series than it sort of being a slight blind run. Like I know what to expect in terms of combat and mechanics, uh, but I have never done this particular storyline, which is just a variant on the main one uh, and it's shorter than the main one, so it shouldn't take as long as any of the other series, and this is, uh, as you can probably see in the title right now, it's denoted as Etna mode, and when we get to the normal one, uh, it just won't have Etna mode in it, because you don't call it, like, Laharo mode or normal mode, it's just the regular. So, normally to do Etna mode, you would have to collect uh, well, you'd have to go to a secret place on the in the Nether Castle uh, after every chapter, or during each chapter. But if you input a code, which is essentially the I think it's like the NIS code, like the uh, one code that they always have in essentially every game or every re-release they have, uh, you're able to access it earlier, and all the enemies that would have been boosted because it's a new game plus mode, so everything is higher level, are now uh, dropped to beginning of a game level. So I'm doing this because it'll also help the normal mode run. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to try and unlock it right now. If I fail, then it's gonna be cut until I get it right. Um, so the code that I have to input while on the start menu is triangle, square, circle, triangle, square, circle, X. And if you heard in the background, you heard King a little- King Pijefskoy, the mighty ruler of the netherworld. His long reign came to an abrupt end as the news of his death spread throughout the dark land. Ambitious demons rose one after another to seize the opportunity. And thus began the age of turbulence and anarchy. Two years later... Prince! Okay, so... Um, I also want to be clear, right now I'm using a PlayStation controller, but... I'm playing on Steam, which it allows for, but it has the Xbox gamepad uh, prompts. So uh, essentially take a, if you're playing this at home, take a PlayStation controller, like uh, X at the bottom, triangle at the top, put that on a, uh, an 
Xbox and just do the same order and you would unlock it. But as I said, uh, you know you unlocked it when in the background when you hit X on start, it um, you can hear Etna's tiny voice line, which you may not have heard of me talking over it. But uh, yeah, there, there is a audio cue saying that you have successfully input the code and have, un and have unlocked it. Prince, wake up! This brat just won't wake up. Well, if that's the case, there's only one thing left to do. What fool dares awaken me, the great Laharl? Whoops. Did I kill him? Oh well, what can I say? Looks like I'll just have to take on the prince's legacy myself. And the title of Overlord! <laughs> okay, episode one, Super Dimensional Etna. Episode one, uh -huh. Super Dimensional Etna. Took a while for her to kick in with it. I feel dumb now. Well, look at me, I'm a dumb boy. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I'm sorry, I'm so dumb. Okay, so basically, as you can probably tell, uh, uh, the sprite work has improved over the years. Uh, uh, just it's the normal stuff. Um, I can't jump in this one. Uh, and I think that's... yeah, I can't jump in it. So, got items, got the standard mint gum. Uh, this item bag only has 16. Yeah, it's... it's... You can just definitely tell it's a bit more basic than um, class jobless. Um, that's funny because uh, normally she is the vassal to the Haro. Uh, and look at that pretty sprite. It looks a lot creepier than it does in future titles. Um, and then settings and whatnot. Uh, I might mess around with these, um, but I also might not because it's such an it's a, such an old game that it might not like. Well, my computer can handle it but it might not really matter uh, in the grand scheme of things. So this is the this is the nether castle, like the netherworld castle. Uh, there I hear gunshots, I accidentally killed the prince. <laughs> You're so cool. Yeah, so standard demon stuff, where I think in Disgaea 1, the demons were definitively like more demon-like. I uh, never know what life will throw at you. Yeah, I'm experiencing that right now. So, also, um, you'll notice that uh, you can definitely tell, like, the UI is, uh, just, it is a lot more basic than it was. Like, the numbers are coming out of the bars and whatnot, and that's just the way it was. Um, but one thing that is interesting to me is that in, like, Disguise 5 and whatnot, the people in the castle were, like, thousands of levels sometimes. But these guys are all under, like, a thousand, under 500, really. And that's because in this game, like, while you could get to, um... Like nine 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 or nine 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 nine, um, it just wasn't. Uh, it, it was a bit more of a grind than future games, because while it was the draw, they didn't make it easy, because there's also no post game. Feel free to do the castle gang old, so there isn't a post game in it per se. You literally uh, just start a new game plus with all your characters at the point. Huh. I don't think this guy was in the normal release because I'd never remember him. Because he doesn't even have his own like UI element. That's odd. Um, yeah, great. Um, so there's no new game plus in this game. Well, there there's no post game. There's only new game plus. Okay, tutorial. I'm just purchased. Yeah, each new character. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Yeah, I knew about that. Save shop, those records, you can view the an item. Yep. Records aren't worth anything. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's just, uh, it always shoots you back to a new. I don't believe these guys were in the last game. If they were, um, yeah. So, but I'm, I'm getting, like, all sidetracked because I'm just really excited to play this. Um, so, 
no no post game like there is in Disgaea 5. It just shoots you to a new game plus and stuff unlocks like, oh, you reach this chapter, you can pass this build to do this thing. And the way you just do it essentially is you get to like the last level of the game, you don't do that one, and then you just grind on other levels that in stuff that you unlock. So Dark Games, your features, Dark Assembly, Iron World, this group of people. So this person just shoots you there. So this is assembly. Uh, these guys are the money people that will buy you stuff. Barbara, Netherworld Hospital. So, oh, this is just the same stuff as Disgaea 5, really, except a lot more basic. Just a lot more basic. You can tell all the sprites have changed. They've gotten a lot better, a lot crisper. Uh, keep smiling, good luck. Slash point, but forget it, good luck. This is Gateway to Armworld, Armworld. So, in the last, in Sky 5, the item world was a lot more condensed. It was a lot, lot better. Like, just, it, everything about Sky 5 is essentially superior to this one, only because there is a lot of time and a lot of iterations uh, between this game uh, even the re-releases and Disgaea 5 and its re-release. So, that, that's the thing. Oh god, PC saves are so nice. Um, and, and that's re really where it comes down to. Sorry for my powerful monsters there. So, Valkyrie 4. So, uh, and at this point, I'm not sure if you've seen it, but I am playing uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuths as well, and I said in that video that I am going to be trying to cut down the video lengths to about 30 minutes, 30 to 40, really, because I want to focus more on editing and uh, having long Master episodes. Master Edna, we buried the prince for you, dude! Okay, and... Um, and having longer episodes kind of takes away from that because you just want to cut out dead time and just let it go. So, uh, I'm going to try and cut down episodes and get to the game. And one nice thing, funny thing, nice, funny, whatever, is that in every Disgaea game, the pretties have a different voice. They never have the same voice from game to game for some reason. Would he normally die from that? The Overlord's son should be able to deflect a couple hundred rounds, no problem. Master Etna, you don't look very happy, dude. What are you talking about? I'm glad that Brett's finally dead. In fact, I've never been happier. I bet, dude. He'd boss us around, but he couldn't even figure out how to send the VCR. That is a timed joke, because VCRs are very dead. So, kids... What you don't know is that v VCR used this thing called a VHS. It was like a big clunky CD or DVD. The fat is stiff and my food is bland. His complaining sure was annoying, dude. It's his own fault for being betrayed by Master Etna, dude. Yep, it's his fault for dying so easily. But this isn't good. What's the problem, dude? Mission accomplished, right? But that is the problem. Think about it. With the prince gone, he's got no use for me. I just know he's gonna betray me. You're too cynical, dude. I think you're gonna get a huge reward. Don't be stupid. That'll never happen. Why not? You did your job, dude. Because if I was him, I'd betray him as me. You demons are evil, dude. But the prince is dead, dude. Won't he find out eventually? I suppose. Oh, I know. <laughs> you there, you cute little pretty. Come over here, yeah. I have a bad feeling about this, dude. I said get over here! Coming, dude! So what's the plan, dude? Well, only... This! Master Etna, what are you doing? <laughs> Stupid. They're perfect! From now on, you're Prince Laharl. Dude! You just stuck an antenna on me, dude! Okay. Don't worry see. about it. You look just like the prince. No one will know. Where do you get all of that confidence, dude? Hey, look over there! Ah! See? You fooled that monster! 
sister. You really should trust me more. Oh, yeah. All these guys want to be the Overlord, so you might want to watch your back. Are you serious? Master Edna, please help me, dude! What are you talking about, Prince? Wouldn't you rather wipe out these losers with your magnificent powers? You guys are my friends, right, dude? We believe in you, Prince Dude! Dude! <laughs> okay. So... I believe in this mode it just assumes you know how the game works, which is fine. Um, ooh, that cursor is slow. So, um, is there a cursor? Speed, cursor, key mode. Okay, I'll keep it at that, but apparently I can't change the, uh, well, maybe if I... Uh, I'm using the mouse right now. Um, yeah, okay, I'll just keep it like this. So, basically this this mode will have probably some s slight spoilers in terms of, you know, um, plot and whatnot. But I am not a... Okay, I can probably change that now. Can I... can I change their speed? Character... Are you serious? I can't even change how fast they... okay. I can tell this game is old. This game is old, so if you if you don't want to be spoiled, then you know, I'm sorry, I guess. But this game is as old as you would think it is, and if you don't want to uh, get any spoilers on it, then now you can definitely tell there are some improvements in that. Uh, in Disgaea 5, if you moved, you could just move again, so long as it was within like the boundaries of your previous move, of like the original, of the originating spot. But uh, that's not how this game works. It's if you move wrong, you need to, um, you need to hit circle, send them back to, uh, send send it back where, right, uh, send that thing back where it came from, or so help me, so help me. Um, if, uh, if you miss move, then you have to like remove it all. Um, let's just do that. But you know, it's what you expect with an old game. This, and you can also see that it does not display the XP on the character, which is another, you know, uh, another like, weakness of this entry, which is just the first entry. That the game was on PS2, like, I'm not blaming it for its, uh, like, weaknesses of the time, really. It's just, it's dated. That, that's all it is. And I, I don't blame it for that. You know, you can't help it. Just get old. Honestly, I feel like the printings do more damage. Just base attack. Maybe, the, maybe everyone's so low level the team attack doesn't actually help. Okay. Yeah. Here. 
So when we get to normal mode, I plan to, um, I plan to, uh, man, these guys are just putting these guys to sleep so easy. Um, when we get to normal mode, I plan to go for the cannon ending, and it, that's an ending that I, I was never able to get uh, when I played as a, uh, as a, as a wee babby brat. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about that aspect of uh, this guy. I, for I completely forgot about like the chaining of attacks. And unfortunately, I'm not able to skip anything at this point. This is just great, because they're always asleep. So, uh, another difference between uh, this version and, uh, and uh, D um, Sky 5 is that... Um, is that... Uh, the, like, the end game levels of characters is a lot, a lot lower. Like... The final, uh, like, the final stuff with this guy at five, like, naturally, the, the characters were, like, in the hundreds. Like, that was a normal place to end. But in this game, I believe, like, the final boss is 80. I wasn't expecting that, but at least everybody knows the prince is still alive. <laughs> More demons try to kill us, dude! Don't worry. Our mighty Prince Laharl here will crush those fools. But what about demon lords? We can't beat them, dude! Ooh! They'll make perfect examples to show off the prince's power. In fact, I don't even want to wait for those demons to show up. That could be me next. I hope Prince Laharl is up to it, dude. Well, let's just go back to the castle and celebrate the prince's return. All right, dude! Okay. Oh, my back. I can't believe no one's noticed what's going on, dude! Everybody always hated the prince, so maybe they just don't care! <laughs> Are you joking? You don't know how much I spent to keep their traps shut. I didn't even notice you were bribing everybody, dude! Oh, and by the way, I paid everybody with your paycheck. So a couple You're seconds. evil, dude! <laughs> Reporting in, Master Etna! A new demon named Vyres is rapidly gaining popularity, dude! Many demons are joining forces with him, dude! Mm, never heard of him. Leave him be. He's probably just a nobody. He's after the throne! We gotta deal with him eventually, dude! Ugh! This overlord business is such a pain in the ass! And I do remember as a kid, this was like the first game that I played where there was like, Oh, look, they swore! If you don't take him out, he might eat all that pudding from the Sea of Gehenna that you've been hiding in the fridge, dude! What? Ooh, if anyone touches my snacks, they're dead! Wait, how do you know about my stash? I'm just saying what if, dude! I don't know anything about it! Fine. So, where can we find this demon? Just ask the gatekeeper to take you to Vyre's castle, dude! Well, Prince, it's time to stretch your stuff! What are you waiting for? Let's go already! Good God, dude! See, Dark Assembly is in session. Make me and request things that you want. Be careful, it's not like they approve everything. You don't think anyone can turn me down? You know, if they try, I'll make them approve it. Okay, so this is still chapter one, essentially. Damn. And then. That tutorial. Okay, so I'm gonna stop. So let's go. Edna, I can create a character. Motion exam. So in this game, uh, to do better things, to do more things, you have to 
go through an exam, you have to fight some people and promote yourself. So it's, uh, and if I, um, there it is. It said X to heal all, so I hit X and that was just one person. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I believe these guys are weapons and the girl is armor. Uh, nope, I got it exactly opposite. I couldn't have gotten it more wrong. Yep. It even said weapons. Probably said item drop at the end. You can have characters. The rest of them. Okay. But luckily, there's still the try on function, which is nice. Um, so what I am going to do. Um, it's hard for me to see. Speed. So I believe the uh, promotion exam is dependent on the level of the item shop. Like I can, I think I'm only able to promote once because uh, I only have the first level of the item shop. Although I'm not completely sure. So get back to the good old, uh, um, the good old um, what should I call them? The <laughs> Uh, item or the character creation portion and all their sprites. So the skulls have changed drastically. Like they used to just not have the small boy face. Um, but as you can see, they have changed a lot. Uh, I think I think Ghost were in the other game. So uh, it, back in this game, they didn't actually have differing uh, slots. Like because if you remember in Sky Five. Like, each of these characters, like, if they are male or female, had different, um, abilities, but in this one, they don't. So, I'm going to... Oh, wait. It's a little bit. They have different, slightly different aptitudes. Um, so I'm gonna make a blue skull. Ugh. No, I won't. I'm just gonna wait. Because I don't want to have to take away points, because I only have one mana. Um... Okay. Probably should buy buy some stuff. Okay. Best. should be fine. Okay, so I'm going to save, and um, we are now at like about 28 minutes, so I'm going to end here before I go into the next one because there will probably be a cutscene and whatnot. So with this, I'm going to end episode one of my Disguise PC Etna Mode Let's Play. So I hope you all have a very nice day.